We are here today with Dr. Moni Bhomik, um, who is a physicist, author, lecturer, philanthropist, and does not need any introduction as far as his pioneering invention in, uh, in LASIK surgery goes. Um, but one of the things that we would like to know about today is the books that he has written where he's discussing the link between spirituality and physics. So, uh, Dr. Bhomik, uh, thank you so much for making time and uh, speaking to us. Um, coming from the world of technology, physics, and addic application in, in medicine, um, where is this connection that you found and how does this thing evolve? Thank you for having me. Uh, it's a pleasure to uh, talk to you about my passion. And so any opportunity I get to uh, discuss my uh, uh, passion and the message that I uh, think would uh, improve the quality of life of people, I'm always uh, ready and willing to talk. So thank you for having me. I was brought up in a you know, environment where uh, spirituality was almost a part of life, at, uh, uh, whether you like it or not, it was almost accepted that uh, you will be uh, uh, involved in spirituality to improve the quality of life. And then of course uh, I uh, went to Scottish Justice College, which was a uh, Christian missionary uh, led college, and I really had my first spiritual crisis because as a scholarship holder, I had to uh, uh, attend the Bible class, and uh, my teachers told me that uh, you know, man is born in sin. And that really was an alien idea to me, because uh, how can an innocent child be born in sin? What has, what has the child has done to be born in sin? Um, but of course, at the time, uh, I did not have the ability to d think about this, but uh, it remained as a seed in my mind. And I thought someday when I get out of my poverty, I like to delve into this thing if there is anything in it. And uh, so uh, I eventually got my master's with uh, our scientific icon, Sutten Bos, uh, with his encouragement. I went to IIT Khargpur to get a PhD in physics, then came to this country as a uh, uh, postdoctoral fellow, Sun Foundation fellow, <coughs> to Los Angeles, with only three dollars in my pocket. So, so I had to be a, not only a scientist but also an entrepreneur. Um, I was able to get rid of my poverty stricken past with hard work and uh, with a little bit of luck, as you have mentioned about the. Uh, uh, the instrument for LASIK, the Exumer laser, that I was fortunate to uh, co-invent with my colleagues. And that gave me a springboard for my financial investments. And uh, I am happy to say that uh, at least, uh, you know, I, I have been able to uh, wipe out my poverty to the extent that I was fortunate to be uh, featured in Lifestyle of the Rich and Famous, which is kind of a gold standard of being arrived. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and uh, so when I became financially free, I thought uh, I'm going to be living happily ever after. But that just didn't happen. Uh, I, I, I mean, you know, money is very important when you do not have it and don't I know it. And, but uh, having money is not automatic that you're going to be happy. And uh, of course you get excitement and I was giving James Bond a run for the money and uh, I was going from one excitement to another but eventually then my Peggy Lee moment came so to speak is this all there is you know and uh, is it going to be because one excitement it's a bigger excitement and I thought I have everything to be happy who oh, I am feeling like a, I have a hole in my heart so uh, I thought maybe what I brought in from India in my spiritual toolkit where I was born that spirituality is net essential for an abiding happiness. But of course, by that time, I became a uh, skeptical scientist. Our credo is that don't take anybody's word for it. You've got to find it yourself. So I delved into see what physics have done uh, in terms of uh, is this 
reali really true what we have been taught about that we are part of God and there is a higher power behind our existence and uh, uh, and I dealt with it for about 10 years and uh, what I found really boggled my mind well I found that the gifted individuals in India the Vedic seers who uh, had a truer uh, vision of reality that uh, uh, there, there is something permanent behind our, our existence. Everything is changing in our day-to-day -day life, including everything in the universe itself. So, uh, how do you keep your mental bearing when everything is changing, especially in this uh, day and age when uh, you are being bombarded with uh, conflicting stimulus? Uh, uh, how are you going to keep your mental bearing? Is there anything permanent? And uh, and I realized this is why we need spirituality because uh, spiritual, after all, is a belief in a higher power beyond an existence that doesn't change, like our uh, concept of Brahma. That Dr. Bhoming, I'm going to interrupt yes. you here at this point of time. Um, there are a lot of there are there there are a lot of people who use this these terms spirituality and religion interchangeably, and they are not the same. And I, I would like you to elaborate on this very critical difference. Well, uh, I think you brought a very interesting point. Uh, religion, of course, is based on spirituality, but it's organized. And like any organization, to keep the organization together, they have to have something which they uh, devise is unique to them. Because otherwise, why would you give your money and devotion to me uh, if I don't have something special? So it gets sort of diluted with uh, uh, some undesirable things like dogma, like uh, their particular theology. And it eventually, in the extreme case, it becomes more of a power trip or it has, it has to do with more, more about money and power than the, the real uh, uh, goal of uh, their power and spiritual life. When you really uh, dig deeper and peel off the rituals, their uh, theology uh, and their special uh, uh, attractiveness that uh, they use for people to join them, then you realize that there is really indeed the core belief is that there is a higher power beyond our existence and that's what I call spirituality and that is the same no matter which religion you take and there uh, and the same you know camaraderie and a sense of belonging uh, rituals people do like rituals and uh, uh, so uh, so in one word that religion has become more to do with power and money and spirituality is when you get rid of all the uh, uh, un unnecessary uh, baggage they have acquired i hope i've explained yeah, and and because we are we are uh, trying to delve deeper into yes. the um, yes. into spirituality i wanted to ask you uh, uh, your thoughts and there was a there was a book that came out a few years back and i think the book was titled the god gene where um, a researcher who has been he's been engaged in research activity at the national institute of uh, health um, he was uh, trying to analyze the data that he was ha he was having for some other um, uh, some other experiment of his and, and trying to correlate the the, the dna uh, with their belief in uh, spirituality and trying to find a correlation and uh, it's like pinpointing one gene in the entire genome sequence and saying if you have that you're going to be more spiritual uh, and, and a propensity to be spiritual uh, do, do you do you feel that some of us are naturally inclined to be more spiritual well I think that uh, human being in general uh, has some degree of spirituality in them and uh, I uh, have a little difficulty believing there's any particular gene that would be uh, uh, responsible for making anybody spiritual but uh, I think the idea of that one single gene is responsible it to me would uh, appear to be a little simplistic but uh, certainly there is something there and more research has to be done 
and I think uh, you are probably talking about uh, uh, the uh, gentleman who did the genome sequencing. Uh, 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 but I would I would say that uh, uh, certainly there is something to be explored more. Uh, um, but uh, it's just like uh, a human being is a complex structure yeah, and uh, there is more to it than absolutely. just a single gene absolutely. well i think uh, that i think that leaves us some uh, thought for a future discussion on this and dr bhomik i would like to thank you very very much for your time well thank you i i, I just want to add a few more words if you don't mind sure. uh, in terms of uh, the uh, message that i have in the book how uh, the, uh, we need the spirituality uh, to be uh, really achieving uh, abiding happiness. What we find that, as I said, everything is changing this universe from day uh, from the time time began. Now the universe is so large that you cannot uh, the, what we call in physics term uh, causally disconnected, meaning that you cannot even communicate with the speed of light, and yet the same blueprint uh, is uh, exactly the same as it started with. And mind you, it's not, a, uh, it's not staying as a static ent entity. It is fluctuating with infinite dynamism because of the uncertainty principle. And uh, yet there is something that is keep keeping the uh, fidelity of this blueprint intact throughout this unimaginable vast universe exactly the same. And, and this is something uh, that our Rishis, of course, mentioned that it is the awareness, the cosmic awareness that is keeping together, and we are part of that cosmic awareness in our manifestation. That part is not scientifically validated yet, and that is my goal now to get into that, and this is why I mentioned to you about the connection between uh, mind and healing, and in fact, you know, our mind is so abstract, you cannot poke a stick into it, and yet you wish something, and your physical body, and everything happens physically. So what's the connection? Right. What connect the, uh, 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 this awareness, our consciousness, into the physical activity? That is the last frontier, I think, uh, you know, uh, uh, sort of a holy grail of uh, uh, science, I would say. And uh, I wish that uh, the people would get, in, more, get more into it, and, uh, and uh, at least that's my goal now. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much.